Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to walk you through the file for this heart-shaped wedding registry. Really easy to make. People love it. You're going to have a lot of fun making it for family or friends or for yourself or for your customers. Let's walk through the file and I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to make this file everything you want it to be. Let's check it out. All right, before we get started, let me walk you through the physical item and then I'll show you those same pieces in the file. We're gonna start from the back. This is a layered set of hearts that goes together to make this wedding registry. And on the back, of course, you've got a solid piece and then you've got what I refer to as spacers and you can use one spacer or more depending on what you want and how many hearts you want it to hold. You can use any thickness of material that you want. However, you must make sure that the spacer is at least as thick or thicker than the, the material you make the hearts out of. Because of course, if the spacer is, let's say the spacer is an eighth inch and you use quarter inch hearts, that doesn't make any sense because it won't fit in there, okay? So make sure that if you use one spacer, that the spacer is the same as or thicker than the hearts. And if you use one spacer, you're gonna have the back, one spacer, the acrylic layer, followed by this top front uh, frame here at the front. And then of course you can do what I did here and I have two spacers in here. So that allows me to have double the number of hearts. You know, if you use the hearts that I have in the file at the size that I made them, uh, you can get about 60 hearts in here with one spacer. If you need 120 hearts, you can put two spacers and so on. Uh, bear in mind, of course, that just by nature of the way it's made, if you put more than one spacer in there, the hearts are going to drop in front of each other. So you won't be able to see all of them at the same time. But if you wanted all of them at the same time to be uh, to be viewed, you'd have to make it twice as big this way. And that's not reasonable. So just bear in mind, however many hearts you need, make sure that it's 60 times however many spacers you use. And then, of course, you got the stand, which we'll look at in just a minute. So let's walk through the file and I'll show you how uh, each one of these pieces works. It's really straightforward. As always, before we get started, let's read the instructions up here. Black lines equal cut. The blue line is also cut, but I made this blue because I wanted you to make sure you knew that this is clear acrylic, this piece right here. And then again, you cut as many hearts as you need and approximately six hearts will fit in each layer. So you add spacers to uh, increase the number of hearts. So this is the top going from the top backwards. This is the top one here. I put all of the hearts inside this so that you can save space. You can go ahead and copy and paste and put more in here and fill it all up if you want. Um, don't put the hearts inside this space unless you're not gonna use this piece that comes out of here. I mentioned this in another, another video about this one, but if you want to, you can use the heart-shaped piece that comes out of this. You can take it out, paint it, put it back in there before you assemble this if you wanted to. You could engrave it, you can do whatever you want to, or you can just pitch it, it doesn't matter. You can also use this space in here if you wanted to put something like sand, if that was memorable, uh, like from where they got engaged or something like that, you can put sand in there. You can put any kind of material you want to inside that. Just remember the obvious, right, is when you're gluing this together, don't glue the acrylic on until after you've put whatever you want to inside that space and then the, the acrylic, because you can't get back in there once you glue it shut. Same with this one here. You could put something inside there. You could put um, some printed paper inside there, uh, maybe some pattern ply, whatever you want. But just bear in mind that you can use those for whatever you wish, but make sure you do it before you seal it in with the acrylic on the next layer, okay? So back to the file. This is the front layer. The blue layer is the acrylic. And then over here, we got a spacer. And the spacer, of course, has uh, slots in the top here. And this loose piece right here, is the piece that goes right here and of course separates the two sides, right? So you're gonna glue that on there. And then the back is the solid uh, piece in the back there. And that's all there is to this. Again, you can make as many spacers as you want. Uh, this takes uh, just under one sheet of material per layer. So what you see here is gonna be three sheet, or actually this one is four sheets of uh, wood and one sheet of, or uh, one sheet of the acrylic. Now. To keep your costs in line too, I use cheap like MDF for the middle pieces because you can't see them anyway. So don't use your high dollar materials on the front, uh, I'm sorry, for the uh, spacers because that doesn't make any sense. Now, if you're gonna paint this, 
then you can use inexpensive material and paint the front and the back and it'll look great too, so that's up to you. Let's look real quick at the stand. Really, really easy. Let's go over here to that. The slot size is 0.116. So if your material is thicker than that, uh, and that's of course accounting for kerf, because my material is uh, 0.125 approximately. Uh, so as long as your material is under 125, then you're in good shape. Otherwise you'll need to adjust these slots, but it just goes together just like that. And it holds the heart very nicely. I think you're gonna love this one. Have some fun with it. Be creative with what you put on here. You can engrave names on, on the acrylic. If you do engrave names, I highly recommend that you engrave it backwards so that the engraving's on the inside and it's nice and smooth on the front. Uh, so bear that in mind too. You can engrave over here, do whatever you want. I think you guys are gonna love this one. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you make with it. But until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.